Alright, um, I know it's Halloween, so I guess I should talk about some horror movies. Um, let's see. The Final Destination series is, I wouldn't say the best, it's far, far from the best. But, the premise is okay, I admit. I mean, I like the idea that, um, they're not actually facing... Um, a solid figure they're facing like a supernatural force but where it falls apart is where like when you actually start thinking about it you can never cheat death and you know when you realize that there's like there's no point because they can't they can never defeat death uh, for good so for the first movie it it pretty much is like since no one has done this kind of concept before, I'm pretty sure. And uh, they use all the they use they milk it enough so that like it feels original and yet what's some what am I trying to say? It it did its best with this kind of um plot. And you know, there's a when you think about this kind of, kind of movie about what plot it is it does all the obvious things that you would think it would do like okay they're gonna there's something horrible that's gonna happen what's the some events that people come up with um my first guess was act was a plane crash well and that's what they came up with and the cast cast is good i mean devon sawa he's like he was in idle hands he was i like him in idle, idle hands and everyone else were like are like from teen dramas. Like I know one guy was from from like Dawson's Creek, and then you got like Stifler in there, and Allie Larder, or was it Allie Larder? I don't remember. Um, the movie, it's a cool pro premise, but there's a lot of things that mm, I have to question. Like, why is this guy? Um, psychic like I don't know the movie never hinted that he had psychic powers and why does he randomly just have one and why does he see signs for the plane crash occurs like I don't know that felt a little weird um and what I mean by signs like in the movie the character sees signs that someone's gonna die and some of the signs are kinda okay like there's one scene where he he um Alex he's walking in the, in the night and then some leaves are like in the wind and they're like I think they're burning you know hint that someone's gonna die a burning death and then some are obvious like he walks by when he's about to board the plane this was the beginning he walks and um a cart rolls by and he he sees the number six 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 I mean just like that's too obvious. But other than that, movie's okay. I mean, it uses its best with the, this kind of premise. Acting is mediocre, but passable. And the ending was actually pretty cool. Like, you'd think that they could cheat dead, but then, you know, the, the twist in the movie is that the cycle repeats. Like, so you can never cheat. And it works, I guess. And then, the sequels.